Hello and welcome to Ionic Tips Weekly, episode 11, the weekly Ionic show where we take a look at one small tip each week to try and become better Ionic developers. Uh, this week is just going to be a really quick tip and it's around uh, performance. And so the basic idea is just whenever you are making some change to the DOM, so you're modifying some element in your application, uh, you want to use the DOM controller that's provided by Ionic. So I just have an example here of a, a custom directive I created a little while ago now. Uh, this is actually uh, needs to be updated because this code uh, has since been changed. It won't work with the current version of Ionic, uh, but that's beside the point anyway. I just want to demonstrate the use of the DOM controller. And basically all you need to do is just inject the DOM controller through your constructor. And then in any place where you're uh, making some change to a DOM element, all you need to do is just put those changes inside of a call to this.domcontroller.write. And then you just dump whatever changes you want to make inside of there. Now, the main idea behind the DOM controller is to batch reads and writes to the DOM. So the DOM is one of the performance bottlenecks with uh, web applications. It's one of the most expensive operations. And uh, I actually, I should have a video out on the browser rendering process already. Uh, I'll link to that in the description if I do. Uh, basically, there's a whole process the browser needs to go to to figure out your code and then display what needs to be displayed on the screen. And more or less, whenever anything changes, that process, uh, the browser needs to go through that process and apply that change. And so it's a bit dangerous when we're modifying DOM elements because uh, these changes will cause that process to happen and it's gonna be expensive for the browser. And so if we're doing something, let's say if we're modifying some element when we're scrolling, if we're modifying that a lot, it could trigger a lot of these changes and it could slow down the application. The idea behind the DOM controller is that it batches all of these requests together at once and it'll perform or it'll execute those changes at the most opportune time. So rather than us just firing off these requests willy nilly to change the DOM, Ionic will decide when the best time to run those changes are and it also schedules it in with Ionic's own changes. And so this can avoid something called a layout thrashing and I'll link to an article I've written previously that covers that. But it basically just avoids that whole uh, process of just triggering changes all the time and causing the browser to have to recalculate the layout, redisplay everything, repaint everything, uh, rather than just firing off heaps and heaps of requests at random times to do that. The DOM controller just helps bundle these requests together and gets everything executed at the best time rather than just whenever your code happens to trigger it. So I just wanted to quickly introduce you to that concept in this video. Uh, if you are interested in more information about this, I'll link to the article in the description about the DOM controller and about uh, layout thrashing. And I'll also link to the video that covers the browser rendering process in general. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tip for this week and I will see you again next time.